welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got a $25 emergency supply haul from the Dollar Tree. We usually do most of our stock up from the food section in Dollar Tree for the pantry, but this week I decided to do more emergency supplies and there's actually no food in this haul. So I did a $25 budget and I stayed on budget. I was able to control myself and I picked up a bunch of things that would be great to have in our emergency supplies, different things that we can use, uh, some first aid stuff, some um, emergency things, all sorts of stuff. So let's jump in and see what we got. So the first thing I grabbed was two of these solar lights. These are wonderful. You can keep them in a windowsill. You can keep them outside. You can bring them in at nighttime. You can set them in a cup, in a milk jug, in a mason jar, all kinds of stuff to help them illuminate inside the house when the lights go out. So we love to keep these around. They're also lights outside. It really helps deter people as well. They don't want anyone to see who they are if they are planning on doing anything dubious around your home. So lights outside do help. And uh, so these are wonderful to have. If the grid goes down, you can bring them in, use them for all sorts of lighting. The next thing I picked up was another pack of rope. I love this rope. It is kind of like paracord. It works really, really well. Excellent for clotheslines, tie things together, all that kind of stuff. You can't have too much rope, I don't think. Um, you can use it for so many different things. Um, we love to keep a good supply of rope and paracord and all that stuff around the house just because it's so useful. Uh, you can fix a fence with it real quick, just temporarily. You can tie things together. We've had the rope snap off our wood sled. We drag our wood sled and uh, we've had that rope snap before so we can replace it with these. Uh, works out really good. The next thing I got was a four by six tarp. I love these little tarps. They are perfect to cover things over, cover a window, um, all sorts of stuff. If you have a generator uh, that you have outside, for, uh, like a gas generator, and it's raining, you can cover up the generator if it's not running. Don't put it on there when it's running. Uh, but um, you can cover it up and keep it dry. And uh, so it's not getting saturated in the rain or snow or anything like that. And then when you're running it, you can the tarps pull off really quick and easy. So we love to have these tarps for multi-purposes uh, in our emergency supply. We have a good little stack of them because there are so many different things. You can tie it to a fence and funnel it into a bucket when it's raining and make a rain collection with it. You can do all sorts of stuff. There's so many uses. Tarps are wonderful to have. And I love this size because it's easy to fold up, easy to pack away, and you can keep reusing it. The next thing I grabbed was Epsom salt, another multi-use item. Uh, it is wonderful in the garden. Sprinkle it around the base of your plants to raise the magnesium. You can use it in the bath. Uh, you can use it for so many different things, sore muscles, laxative, tons of stuff. You can use Epsom salts tons of ways. We like that. And I try to get the plain ones that are unscented so we can use them in the garden if we need to and we don't have to worry about it. If you want to add scent, you can always add a couple drops of oil or something in the tub if you want that. And the next thing we got was a pack of 120 zip ties. These are multicolored, so if you're trying to wire things together to separate them or you know which is which, uh, there's tons of uses for these. Again, we have used zip ties to fix chicken fencing so many times just until you know we can get all the proper stuff to get it done right or we have time. Sometimes the fence will get torn or broken at night and we just don't have time to really collect all the stuff and repair it. These are great just to hold it together for the evening and the next day until we can get out there and really fix it properly. So I love zip ties for tons of uses. 
And then we also grabbed a couple more of those Coco Core expanding soil blocks. These are wonderful. I really love these. I am getting a nice little collection for spring gardening. Can't wait. I wish it would stop snowing. <laughs> we we just got buried in snow last week. So I am I'm just dying for summer and spring so we can get the garden going. I'm sick of buying vegetables at the store. They taste so much better when they're grown in the backyard. Really, they do. And let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I found some more of the Duraflame fire starters. These are great for quick, easy fires if you have to light one up. Um, if you're not real good at starting fires, these are a great, great thing to have on hand, absolutely. Um, we make a lot of fires because we have two wood stoves to heat our home. We have a wood stove in our cabin. We love to cook outside. Uh, we light fires all the time. Let's see. And then I found this little flashlight, um, just a little two-in-one LED flashlight. I thought this was neat because it's got a little clip on the top. So great for camping. And uh, you can just clip it on if you were... Um, if you had a bag or something like that, you could clip it on your bag. You could clip it on a belt loop if you're walking outside so it faces in front of you. The little clip, I think, would come in really handy. Um, so I grabbed one of these little LEDs. And I grabbed, I also grabbed one of these little push lights. Well, I, we love these. I have one in my pantry, like underneath the shelves. So Sometimes it's really dim in there. I don't have good lighting in my pantry because I want it cool, dark, and dry. I do not want it bright and airy in there. Um, so keeping it cool, dark, and dry is the best conditions. So these, you can stick them up underneath the shelf and so it illuminates that next shelf down. So you can just press them, which is nice. We've been using them that way in our pantry. And, um, and you can just stick them on the wall, stick them anywhere, really. They're, these work great. You just press it, it comes on. I like little lights, especially if there's no electricity, they'll be super handy. <laughs> and then I grabbed two more of these little jelly jar candles. These are excellent. When candles are in a jar, it makes them last longer because the wax isn't kind of floating away off the side like a taper candle. And I love jarred candles for that reason because they do last a long time. And these are mason jars. So we, um, after this candle is burned, this is an eight ounce mason jar and we can can in it. Um, just, we boil them up, you know, make sure they're good and sterilized and clean. And they come, they come clean really easy because the wax just with hot, hot water, it comes right off and you can get these super clean and so you can use recan in them. We just toss out the lids and get some fresh ones. Good to go. Candles are always good. Heat, lights, cooking, everything. Lots and lots of stuff. And then a three pack of toothbrushes. I love the three packs when they're multi-packs because you know, buy one toothbrush for $1.25, it's okay, but getting three is even better. Um, these are just Colgate toothbrushes so we'll add these to our stash we keep a really good supply of toothbrushes because you want to make sure in an emergency long-term situation you want to make sure you're keeping your teeth really clean because getting toothaches and not being able to see a doctor um, can definitely be a problem toothaches suck and uh, then I grabbed this self-adherent wrap this is just like the vet wrap. It's it's like an ace bandage, but it sticks to itself, which is really nice. You don't have to use those little clips or anything like that. It just sticks on. And I noticed the Dollar Tree had like two or three different brands, but this one, the Curad, had the most footage on it. And I believe it was five yards. And I one was like two and a half yards and one was three yards. And this one had five yards, so I went for this one. And this one sticks really good. We've used this a few times before. And it works on the animals if you have to wrap up your pet's paw or anything like that. It's just like vet wrap, really. I've used vet wrap on people, so. <laughs> we don't care, animal, people, it all works. 
Um, and then some triple antibiotic ointment. You definitely want to make sure you have plenty. Scrapes, cuts, stuff like that. You want to be able to make sure they're clean, not getting infected. Especially those long-term emergencies. You want to have a good supply because it may be difficult or impossible to get to a doctor if you get infected. So having these on hand to help make sure you are getting them healed and cleaned is perfect. So we like to keep lots of first aid stuff, lots and lots. And then let's see, anti-itch cream. We, we get into the poison ivy, we get bee stings and bug bites, all this stuff, irritated skin. Anti-itch cream is definitely good to have. You want to have all those different little things that you use all the time. You want to have a decent supply because you'll be pretty upset in an emergency and you can't get it and you run out and you're like, ah! So we like to keep all that in stock. And then I found these Hydramates. I thought these would be excellent for the first aid kit if you have diarrhea, anything like that. When you're sick, you need extra electrolytes. And these had a um, 2024, yeah, 12, 2024 expiration date on them. So they're going to be good for a couple of years in your first aid kit. And then I think they are flavor free. I don't think they have a flavor, but one packet equals three cups. So that is a really, really good deal. You can um, have get those extra electrolytes into your body when your body needs it. Um, when you're really sweating really hard out there, things like that. You can also add salt to your water um, to help with electrolytes, things of that nature. Um, but I thought those would be nice to have. And last, but certainly not least, I picked up another one of these care, um, just wound kits. It comes with uh, the tape, gauze pads, little rolls of gauze. It's a nice little kit, really, for $1.25. You can't beat it. It's got two rolls of these gauze in there, and then a roll of tape, and it's got a bunch of the bigger pads, the four by four pads, and then it's got some smaller four, uh, two by two pads, and it's got some non-stick little, I think they're two by threes, yeah, two-sided two by three pads, there's like five of those, and then four of the two by twos, and let's see, what are these? These are the two by three by four, there's four of the two by three by fours, and three of the four by fours. So that gives you a nice little selection to add to your first aid kit. Um, I leave them in the boxes until I need them in the first aid kit and then I will put everything in there when I'm replenishing that. So that is definitely a great little buy. If you can find these, they're just a value wound care kit. And I've been finding these off and on at the Dollar Tree for about a year probably and uh, I think they are such a good value for the money because buying first aid kits is really expensive and sometimes restocking it is not that cheap so this just helps us with a bunch of little things for very little money and it all fits nice and neat back in the box sort of <laughs> And that is it for my $25 emergency supply haul this week. I'm making sure we have everything we need with supplies going in and out of stock. We definitely can have trouble. And we are pretty topped up on our food because I really try to keep after that. And But making sure we have those supplies in there as well is definitely just as important as the food. And if you have found any really cool emergency supplies at Dollar Tree lately, something that I didn't mention, please put it in the comments down below. It really helps people try to figure out what they can get into their supplies, what they may have forgotten, and they may just find something in the comments that they're like, oh, yes, I need it. So it's really helpful for other people. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.